Uh, I don't want to sound pretentious, but, but I think our ambition was to do something in the vein of Dr. Strangelove. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Oh, I can't use that. Just point and shoot. Everybody get down! I would say the best way to describe the movie is that it, in its bones, it's, it's an, you know, an action thriller, uh, suspense movie with a very high violent body count. Uh, but, but in its, um, in its core, it's a, it's a satire. Um, uh, I don't want to sound pretentious, but, but I think our ambition was to do something in the vein of Dr. Strangelove or in a more contemporary way, Get Out, where we were making some commentary on, on what the political moment is, uh, but hopefully Trojan horsed inside something vastly entertaining. Um, and so, uh, yeah, political satire um, uh, uh, via um, action thriller comedy. I know what this is. It's Mannergate. Every year, these rich elites kidnap a bunch of normal folks like us. The movie tries not to get too caught up in what their beliefs are because it's so interested in this idea of identity politics and, um, and what we assume about each other um, and how those assumptions are very often uh, both dead wrong uh, and dead right, uh, pun intended. Um, but um, hopefully, uh, when you get to the end of the movie, you realize uh, wow, uh, if only we could have just sat down and tried to work out our differences in other ways uh, than firing weapons at one another. This is the real thing. You're hunting human beings for sport. Then you're not human beings. When we started reading actors for Crystal, um, we, we pursued Betty and she went on tape uh, in her audition and she did the mom and pa scene um, and as soon as she said, uh, you done fucked up, bitch. Um, and sort of uh, kind of like did this little kind of like boxer, like stride, like Nick and I just looked at each other. Uh, Craig was not in the room with us, but he had said to us, you're gonna wanna watch this. And we were like, oh, uh, I feel bad for all the tapes that we haven't seen yet because uh, it's gonna be Betty Gilpin. Everything okay? Lost my wallet. Oh. Um, and then now that she's, uh, you know, performed the, the role beyond just the audition, again, she just makes really interesting choices. Um, I never entirely know what she's thinking. Um, and traditionally, that's a bad thing because you want to know what characters are thinking so you can identify with them and form bonds with them. But I think in the case of Crystal, to have a character where you're like, is she lying? Is she telling the truth? Is she like a horrific murderer or does she feel remorse? I can't like really sink my teeth into it. Um, uh, she's keeping me at arm's length, but at the same time, she's completely and totally drawing me in. It's a, it's a, it's a magic trick. I've never ever seen anything like it. And it's all a testament to Betty's incredible talent. Game of survival. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. I think that at the end of the day, um, that our intention was to make a movie uh, that everybody could go see, that they could see themselves reflected in these characters, but also understand that it was a very heightened version of, of these characters. That ultimately, um, I, I do think that the movie tries not to take sides, um, but it's also impossible not to root for the people who are being shot at the entire time. Um, and I think that our broader sense of things have gotten very extreme and this movie feels like ridiculous on many different levels, but the scariest part of this movie is that, is it that ridiculous? Don't we believe in some things in the conspiracy world that are just as absurd as what we just saw unfold here? And at the end of the day, um, like the hunters and the hunted um, are of specific political affiliations, but we tried not to get overtly political, but at the same time code the movie so that you kind of knew who was who. Um, we hope that liberals will be able to laugh at themselves. Uh, that's one of the hardest things for, for liberals to do as a liberal. Um, I, I, I don't like being the butt of the joke, and I actually feel like 
although politi my political ideology is vastly different in many ways from conservatives, they are just much, they have a much better sense of humor about it, um, about the whole thing, um, which I think is commendable. And the movie tries to reflect that idea as well. This is a wild game of survival.